Here's a quick tip that's going to make scrolling through long Google Documents much easier. Not only is this tip, originally from Dan Keezer, something that you're going to want to use as a professional, but it's also a great skill to teach your students. So let's get started. When we're in a long document in Google Docs, for example, this two-page document, sometimes it's best if we can make it much easier uh, for people to scroll through by having essentially a table of contents. There's two ways that we can do this in Google Docs, but today we're going to teach you the outline view. By clicking Tools and then going to Document Outline on your Mac, you'll get this little popover window here. This popover window doesn't look like much now, but if we use some of the different heading styles that are available in Google Docs, you'll start to see what happens as we add them to the work. You can see here that we can change just with some different heading styles. So here you can see I fast forwarded through the document outline. And now, very quickly, very easily, I can jump to different sections within this document. And you can see that this makes it much, much easier for somebody who is using the view. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to the iPad so we can see how this looks on the iPad from the student view or from anybody's view who's using the iPad. So, uh, same, same uh, document. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the three dots. And I'm going to go to document outline. And there it is. And now I can jump through the document this way just by tapping on the different pieces that I need to move through. All of a sudden it becomes much easier to navigate long doc, uh, Google Documents. And it's also uh, a way for us to really point kids to specific parts. But I want to save this last piece just for the instructional element as well. I'm going to do a quick unwind of all of these. So now I've taken all of those headers off. If we go to the document outline, you can see there's nothing there. This is the key piece, and I think the instructional part. One of the literacies that we need to teach students is how to help organize a paper, not just with the paragraphs and the indents, but also how to put things like subheadings and document titles in. And so one of the things that we can do on the iPad, so we can select a section of text on the iPad, Using this little font button up here, I can now change this in the style section. This is going to be a heading two. And we can continue that throughout the entirety of the document. Now when we go to our document outline, you can see that it starts to populate just like we had it before. So a really great way for us to teach kids how to organize their thinking, organize sections of a paper, and also a critical tool as documents become increasingly graphic, uh, heavy and graphically focused. So there's your quick tip for the day using the document outline and using the different styles of text that are available in Google Docs.